What's up guys? My name is Jason McCutcheon from Wedding Film School and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Lumix 100mm macro. And I'm going to be telling you guys why this might be the perfect macro lens for wedding filmmakers. But before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know Wedding Film School is putting on a retreat. That's right. Clarity is coming in February. February 19th through the 22nd, we're doing something a little bit different than maybe other wedding filmmaking retreats or workshops. We're gonna be connecting in the incredibly amazing, luxurious accommodations in Boston, Massachusetts at the Four Seasons One Dalton. We're gonna be having incredible discussions and times of connection. We're gonna be talking about ideas. And of course, there's gonna be one-on-one -on -one coaching opportunities for guys like Ray Roman, and Adam Grumbo, and of course myself, Bobby and Jared will be there. We cannot wait to spend three days of getting refreshed recharged in Boston, Massachusetts with you wedding filmmakers. So if you'd like to sign up, click on the link that's in the description, sign up today. Early bird pricing expires at the end of January, but we wanna see you there. We got single room rates and of course shared room rates. So we wanna see you in Boston, February 19th to the 22nd for clarity. But let's talk about this lens now. So, when Lumix approached me about doing this review, I was pretty upfront with them about the fact that I really don't actually use macro lenses that much. And they were kind of like, well, this is why we want you to do the review, because we think this is the macro lens for people who don't like macro lenses. And filmmaking, macro lenses have a lot of issues, namely really, really, really steppy looking focusing where you kind of see, I don't know. You can see the steps in the focus and it looks weird, especially when you're rolling focus. The other issue macro lenses have is crazy focus breathing. And if you don't know what that is, basically it means as you're rolling focus, it's changing the size of things in the frame. It's making everything look really weird. And then the other issue I've always had with macro lenses is they are rather large lenses typically. They take up a lot of room in your kit. And if you're barely gonna use it, maybe if you have time to use it, you'll use it. I just have never wanted to give up the kit space or spend the money. This 100 millimeter by Lumix, it actually might solve some of the problems that I've had with macro lenses for a really long time. So let's talk about this lens. Durable, it can handle being dropped. The Lumix 100 millimeter macro lens is a f2.8 lens. It's got one-to-one -one magnification with an eight inch minimum focusing distance, two UED elements, one ED element, and three aspherical elements. If you have the other Lumix prime lenses, it is color matched for those lenses. Now, this is an 18 millimeter lens. This is a 100 millimeter lens. These things are designed to basically be the same size. They're almost the exact same weight, and that means less time balancing your gimbal if you wanna go crazy and put a 100 millimeter macro on it. And of course, if you're familiar with Lumix's line of prime lenses, you know they're all dust and weather sealed. So a couple of unique things about this. First of all, they did some crazy mumbo jumbo in terms of the lens design to actually make a lens this small. I bring up the lens design, not just to talk about, you know, tech stuff, but to point out what it allows you to do or what it has allowed Lumix to do, which is make a really, really small lens. Like look at it compared to this. I mean, this is a, Pretty typical size for a 100, 105 macro lens. I mean, like this is so much smaller. And this I think is one of the reasons why this lens is so good for filmmakers. Um, when you look at a, a lens like this, there's no reason you couldn't fly this on a gimbal. And when you have something small and compact as a wedding filmmaker, you're just so much more likely to bring it with you, let alone use it or try new things with it. This is, to me, the biggest selling point about this lens. But there's a couple other things I think are really, really cool for filmmakers. Lumix designed a brand new focus motor for this lens designed to really solve some of the problems, especially that filmmakers have with macro lenses. Not only does it have minimal focus breathing, but you're also gonna see that it's pretty responsive and that as it rolls focus, it has a nice natural look rolling between focal planes instead of that kind of typical steppy look that you get with a lot of other macro lenses. It's not just accurate and fast. Um, the new focus motor is very quiet, which is also a big bonus for filmmakers. Wedding filmmakers are notorious for wanting to roll 
simple and small. There are a lot of wedding filmmakers that are literally going to shoot with the smallest possible kit. I think there might be a place in someone's kit for this lens though, honestly. When I think about a lens that lets me do something super unique, like ultra close macro shots, like for a ring shot or maybe some details or florals, I might want that for certain weddings in certain situations. And I think the other thing that makes me think this lens might be the perfect macro lens for wedding filmmakers is it actually works really well in a lot of different situations, which is something Lumix really, really, really emphasized when they talked to us. They said, hey, we don't just want this lens to be used for close-up shots. We want people to be able to take this lens out, put it on a tripod and shoot one of their extra angles at a wedding ceremony with. So honestly, I think it works pretty good. Check it out. So one of the issues macro lenses often have is they're really not that useful outside of the situation that a macro lens is really designed for. And I think that's why a lot of wedding filmmakers don't put one in their kit because they can't just take it out. This is a Lumix 7200 set to 100 millimeter. Uh, obviously some minor differences, but I think you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the two lenses if you didn't know. What I'm doing right now is something that a lot of our clients do to us. Uh, it's kind of the bane of many of our existence, which is the guy who goes like this. I'm not gonna use a mic stand. I'm just gonna walk. It's part of our reality. Right now we're on the 70 to 200 by Lumix and it is tracking me. But let's see how the 100 millimeter macro does because macro lenses are not known for being super good at autofocus. And a lot of times they would struggle in this situation. So let's see how it does. So this is the 100 millimeter macro and I'm just gonna be walking and talking just like that annoying groomsman did to you at your last wedding. Moving around, it's following me, it's tracking me. Let's see how it does with just this low light right here. And I'm holding the microphone just because I, I, I want to go with the theme. Oh, it's a macro lens. I could probably get really close. <laughs> it doesn't have you there. <laughs> it doesn't have me. There we are. As you can see, that wasn't exactly a wedding situation, but we tried to put it through its paces a little bit. And I honestly could see myself potentially using this at a wedding for maybe my second angle or something like that. And I think a lot of people might use it that way, especially someone who really wanted a macro lens, but didn't want it to just commit to a lens that was a unitasker. As much as I'm not like a big macro guy, I'm not really crazy into ring shots or all that stuff, I found myself reaching for this lens throughout the day to try some stuff with. Not just because I had to for a review, but I was genuinely curious. And I think that's the best I can say about any piece of equipment. Not just is it well constructed, does it look nice, but most importantly, does it inspire me? Does it push me to try something and be more creative? And I really, really believe this lens did that for me and as a wedding filmmaker, I think it might do it for you. So if you're looking for a small, compact, high quality macro lens with minimal focus breathing, really solid autofocus, and of course, this small footprint, well, this lens might just be a perfect little companion for your kit. Honestly, it's really, really, really solid. And I think for a lot of people, it's gonna change the game in terms of how they think about macro lenses. Thank you guys so much for checking out our channel. If you want more wedding filmmaking content, subscribe, like, and of course, check us out on our weekly live stream where we watch films submitted by you guys, the viewers. If you would like to submit your film to be reviewed by Bobby and I, head over to weddingfilm.school, click on the button and submit a film today.